Welcome back. This is Category 5 Technology TV, and tonight we are taking a look at a really cool device from AirTurn. It's called the Stomp 6. Cool. Just the box. I've actually got the pedal as well. So, essentially, you may want something like this as um, a controller for um, your guitar effects or something like that. Right. You kind of recognize that? Do you guys see that? That's kind of the heart right. of this device. It's yes. called Stomp 6 from AirTurn. And what it is, is in fact a Bluetooth keyboard with six keys. Oh. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about what that means for us. But essentially, I mean, if you're a musician, this is fantastic. You've got an iPad or an Android tablet. Uh, you put your sheet music up on the screen, and then you can flip the pages with your foot, right? So you've, you're jamming, and you've got the sheet music on the screen. Right. Beautiful. Uh, also, you can pick up uh, like a quarter-inch input for your phone. Plug your guitar into your phone, and then out into an amp or pair of headphones, and then use a Stomp 6 as the controller because it's Bluetooth, right. for your phone. So now it becomes a guitar effects pedal on the cheap. Like, they're not expensive. So right. that is cool. But because it's a Bluetooth keyboard, what else can we do? We can connect it to a computer. And then there is no limit to what we can do. We can program if we want to do some making. We right. can connect this to a Raspberry Pi and make it do all sorts of cool stuff. Right. Basically, it is a fully wireless Bluetooth controller that we can tell the software what we want it to do because it's just six different keys on a keyboard. Okay? Mm -hmm. So first of all, the first thing that we need to do is we just need to fire it up. Just hold in the power button, you're going to see a little light flash. And then over here on my Windows system, now I've got Windows 10 on our broadcast computer, so this is going to be really interesting tonight, Sasha, because we're actually going to bring up our screen which is going to cause a rift in the space-time continuum because we're broadcasting live. I'm going to bring up our screen on your screen so that you can see the configuration steps that I take. So there's us. Oh. oh. See our thumbnails there? I'm waving. Wow. Okay. So one second delay on thumbnails. So let's get a look at what uh, Windows says to us. So I've got this thing powered on. Let's go Bluetooth and other settings. There we go. So you see the air turn there is connected. Brilliant. So it's really easy. I mean, it's just a Bluetooth device, but it connects just like that. So now if I bring up something like Notepad, and all I'm going to do, let's see if, can you see me in the thumbnail there? I'm just going to hold up the keyboard and just push the first key, basically the first pedal. And what that's done is it's output uh, the number three. <laughs> so this first pedal is basically just the number three on a keyboard. Right. Now... Telestream Wirecast is the software that you saw there on your screen, and that's what it looks like to us here in the studio, other than we've got some crazy stuff happening in the preview window because we're kind of causing a bit of a loop. But that is broadcast software. It's perfect for uh, webcasters like ourselves, television shows, sports casting. It's got everything for sports casters, including the ability to put scores up on the screen in real time. It's got, uh, I mean, it's perfect for churches that want to broadcast their services every Sunday. Right. Or businesses or town halls, city halls that want to broadcast meetings. It's a great piece of software to turn a computer into a broadcast suite. But it's sometimes tough, Sasha, to have somebody always operating that. Did you see all the buttons and stuff that I have now? I've got right. a touch screen controller here as well. So when I touch things, it's, it's moving around that way. Um, but you don't always have someone to do that. Mm -hmm. So having a, a foot switch like the Stomp 6 from AirTurn is going to make things a lot simpler. But the question becomes, how do I now turn this Bluetooth keyboard, if you will, this Bluetooth foot switch, which is powered by a single 9-volt battery, B Right. how do I make it work with Telestream Wirecast? That's what I'm going to show you tonight. We're doing All this right. live, folks. Let's All see. Right. So let's head back over to um, Notepad. And you'll see that three is the first button when I press the button. So that means that I'm actually in mode two, and I know this from the manual. So if I press the second button, it's a semicolon. If I press the third button, it's a P. The fourth button is a capital R, and then a space. And then the last one is actually Control-Z. So this 
tells me that mode two, now I've chosen mode two as the best option for this particular use case. Mm-hmm. You can change the mode. There are four different modes and it changes what the keys output. Okay. So you can set it mode one where this is page up, page down, and so on. So there are different things that you can do with it with the four different modes. I think mode two works really well for Telestream Wirecast because of the fact that we have all standard keys from a keyboard but then number six which we use as our programming key is a control key so unfortunately that key is not compatible with telestream wirecast that is because it's the undo key so now what we end up with is one two three four five controlling telestream wirecast and then control z which is undo so it's a quick foot flip to undo whatever it is that you've done Right. You're typing and you need to undo it real quick. There you go. So jumping back here, let's get a look. So we've got this thing connected in mode two and really, really simple to change, folks. You've got the manual if you pick one of these up. Uh, You can get one at cat5.tv slash air turn. But all you do is you just hold in button number six with your foot or your finger and then it starts flashing. And the flashes, you count them. One, two, three, four. Boom. You're in mode four. If you let go of that. Right. One, two, let go. Now you're in mode two. Could not get easier. Oh, it's so simple. (laughs) All right. And the manual shows you what the key sequences are for each of those. And we know it from bringing up Notepad as well. So let's get a look at Telestream Wirecast. So first of all, I need to tell Telestream Wirecast, hey, how do I communicate with this particular device? It's really simple because, as I mentioned, Telestream Wirecast works with keyboard hotkeys. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I can click on Add, and I can call this Stomp 6 Button one and then over here in the right hand side now all i do can you see me in the thumbnail i'm just going to push button one done and it entered a three okay now i'm going to set that to global so that it doesn't have to have telestream wirecast as the foreground application in order to switch okay that's handy you may want to turn that off if you are commonly switching over to facebook and things like that (laughs) while broadcasting because as soon as you hit three boom your shot changes now i'm going to add another button and i'm going to call this one stomp six button two and then i push button two on my stomp six and it put a semicolon make it global then i add the next one stomp six button three you're getting the idea right oh push yeah three there we go it's a capital p now all i do is i exit out of that and i've uh, now i've only done the first three buttons because we are just doing a demonstration. You get the idea. Um, you can have multiple devices set to different modes, and then you can have one, two, three, four, five as some switches. Then you can have another stomp six, set it to a different mode, right. and have one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever you want to do, and program them independently of one another so that you've got multiple devices controlling different camera shots. Okay? So over here at Telestream Wirecast, now that it knows how to communicate with this device, mm-hmm. I'm going to simply right-click on my shot and go keyboard shortcut and assign it to any one of the keys that I s- set. So button number oh, three okay. is now going to be this shot, our main shot. Now if I look at you there on the green screen mm-hmm. and I right-click and go, let's make you button number two, Now, watch what happens. So, button number three, we're already on that shot. Mm -hmm. Now, if I push button number two, guess what happens? Push button number three again. See? Super. Button two, button three. I'm just pushing it with my finger. Uh, But, of course, the idea here is with the stomp six, you put that on the floor. It's out of the vision of your viewers, and it's something really, really easy in order to switch between shots. I like to use, like, a P-touch labeling system to also put, you know, Sasha shot, main shot, Uh, news shot, that kind of stuff, put it right on there. Uh, And of course, it's reusable for from task to task. So now that I've set it up with Telestream Wirecast, it's not just a Telestream Wirecast controller. I can now take it to my jam and start using my uh, phone as a guitar effects pedal as well. Very cool. Makes it seem like there's a whole crew. It really does. Right. Super, super easy to set up. And there you have it. That's how you do it on Telestream Wirecast. And that, again, is a, uh, a suite of software that turns a computer into a broadcast system. Uh, and it is available at cat5.tv slash Wirecast. Check them out. Um, it's a great suite of software. It's what we use here at Category 5 TV. But I love 
absolutely love adding the air turn devices to the mix because it gives me a way to switch shots really easily, really seamlessly. And usually you probably don't even know that it's happening because I can just flip a switch with my foot. Right. How cool is that? Check them out again. Cat5.tv slash air turn. 